when you are able to master this, nothing will shake you. If you are somebody who is still allowing your circumstances to really dictate how you feel, how you think, the actions that you take, the way that you speak about yourself, the way you speak about reality, then I want you to know that that's a clear indication that you are focusing too much on the external world and you're not focusing enough on the internal world. There's ideally two states of being that you can be in. You can be in reaction state where you're letting the circumstances dictate you or you are in a leading energy where you are deciding how you're going to feel, how you're going to speak, how you're going to think, and how you're going to move no matter what is happening outside of you. If you're not in the second camp, you are going to struggle with creating your dream life and business because you are too reactive to everything outside of you. In order for you to master this whole reality creation thing, you have to be the one that does the work each morning and then throughout the day and then each night before you go to bed to really get yourself in the energetic, emotional, and mental state of being that you truly desire to be in. You have to train your brain and your body to start vibrating at a different frequency. You have to train yourself to start walking with and embodying this new self-concept even before the results change, even before your external circumstances change because the way your external circumstances are going to change guaranteed no matter what quickly and easily is when you do the work to change you. If you are too busy looking at what's going on outside of you and constantly reacting, you're not giving yourself enough time and enough spaciousness to be creating the desired experience internally. And because you're not creating that spaciousness where you are actually getting into a higher vibrational frequency, where you're actually feeling the way that you desire to feel, where you're actually allowing yourself to think about reality how you want it to be rather than how it's been, rather than what's going on. If you can't think, feel, and speak greater than your circumstances, your circumstances will always own you. You have to be the one that masters you so you are actually creating a new life experience. And when you are able to anchor into this new identity and anchor into these new thoughts and these new feelings, that's when your reality is going to change because it has to. It is a universal law. But if you keep saying, but if you keep saying, I'll feel wealthy when I have the money in my bank account, I'll feel happy when I'm in the partnership. If you are putting the way that you feel on something outside of you, you're not mastering you. As somebody that has been doing this work for so long, as somebody that teaches and mentors people on this work, it's very, very easy for me to tell where you are at in this reality creation experience because of the line of questioning you're asking, because of the frequency you're in when you're asking a question. And I mean this even when you're leaving a comment. It This is an energetic universe. I can feel the frequency you're in when you leave a comment. And so I want want you to really challenge yourself to say, am I allowing my circumstances to control me or am I taking control of my circumstances by controlling me? Because when you are somebody that can feel abundant no matter what, you're not going to get triggered by the amount of money in your bank account. You're not going to get triggered by a bill that comes in. You're not going to be triggered at all by any dollar amount because you've done the work to master the frequency money. And when you're able to master the frequency, you master the thing. The way you'll know whether you're actually doing the work that matters or not is if you are constantly looking at things outside of you, if you are waiting for your circumstances to change, if you are asking questions about, but what do I do if this person is doing that? What do I do if this much money is in my bank account? What do I do if? That's not it. That's not it. It's who do I need to be so that way I have actually transcended this problem and I'm not available for this problem frequency. Whatever it is, whether it's money or love or health, are you allowing yourself to stay stuck in a problem frequency where you're trying to ask questions from the version of you that has the problem or are you transcending the problem by changing your identity, which changes your mindset, which changes your feelings and you're no longer identified with the problem and you're now seeing it as a solution because you've transcended problem frequency. This is a state that is very, very important for you to be able to navigate. And this is why I'm always telling you, if you're actually committed to doing this work and if you're actually doing the inner work, you would not be paying attention to what's going on outside of you. You wouldn't be paying attention to what everyone else is doing. You wouldn't be paying attention to those things because you are so busy concentrated on becoming the version of yourself who lives in your dream life that you don't have time to give your energy, time, and attention to who you used to be and the reality that you used to live in 
because you're too busy doing the work on yourself to be able to be in a different reality. And until you do the work to be able to master yourself to be in a different reality, even if you haphazardly manifest something, you're going to lose it because you haven't actually anchored in the identity of the version of yourself who this is normalized for.